Jaguar right? I'm sorry, Jaguar bread. Jaguar bread two or prissy motherfucking payments? Don't ask no motherfucking questions, bitch. You ain't gave no answers. Where's my cash? So, you can make a statement as long as your statement is clarified where you're not getting in no bitch business and or starting too much shit. Say it ain't so. Mm Like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah, daddy, I like when you scrambling and scraping for shit. I like that. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. The rare, raw footage of Tupac Shakur in a wheelchair the morning after he was shot in Manhattan. Despite five bullet wounds, the iconic rapper is on his way to court to hear the verdict in his sexual assault case. A series of events that would change his life and in turn, rap history forever. I wanted to know more, so I searched deep into the Fox 5 archives from our reporting at the time. They'll have no fury like a woman scold. We found this impromptu press conference. Why am I the only one in court right now? Why is the cameras all on me? Not long after his arrest on the charges. Yes, I, I am going to say that I'm a thug. That's because I came from the gutter and I'm still here. I'm not saying I'm a thug because I want to rob you and rape people and things. I'm a businessman. And outside the court as the trial was under way. I want straight up not guilty. And finally, the night he was shot in the lobby of Quad Studios on November 30th, 1994, a hot spot for rap artists at the time. That's Sean Diddy Combs outside as police arrived on scene. He was shot numerous times, at least twice in the head. Time. That's Sean Diddy Combs outside as police arrived on scene. Time. That's Sean Diddy Combs outside as police arrived on scene. Infinite love, life, and good vibrations. I am your host, Velvet, for the Velvet Is Balance channel. Yep, he restricted his, his Instagram comments. I guess Keefy D wasn't enough for him. I guess Keefy D charges wasn't a strong hold on him the way old girl Casey has a strong hold on P. Diddy Crunch. Word on the streets is that he offered her eight figures, about $10 million to make it all go away. But Casey said, oh, hell to the knob, because guess what? That leaves another victim, and then another victim, and then another victim. And also, I want to give credit to Sean, uh, uh, Storm Monroe Channel. Shout out to Storm Monroe. You did a great, great live yesterday. And people acting like they just saw that psychic. They got there from your channel because you pulled the psychic up. I was in the live. Got to give credit what credit do. I don't know why they take stuff and, 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 and they don't acknowledge the people uh, who put it there for them. They want to act like they wouldn't have found that psychic on their own. They didn't find that on their own. Most blog sites that's posting that psychic, they got it from Storm Monroe Channel. But back to this. Y'all yeah, remember when I'll be sure was crying when Kim Porter transitioned. I'll be sure knew that she didn't die the way they said that lady died, you guys. He knew in his heart, mind, body, and soul, and in his spirit that that damn demon did it. He knew. He feel it in his heart. And Kamara Lee Simmons feel the very same way too. Why? They had a close association and affiliation. Hell, I be sure even said that was his wife. They was secretly married. So how did Puff Daddy come and puff her up? I have no idea. And also, he was abusing her too. I remember when I was staying in Mississippi, he threw her out of his house. I think it was on the Tom Joyner morning show. I remember that like it was yesterday because you know why? I thought it was Lil' Kim. 
yeah, I didn't know it was his baby mama he kicked out the house while she was pregnant with his damn child. Ain't that sad, y'all? Ain't that sad? And 50 Cent been trying to tell us about P. Diddy Crunch love for years. You have articles about Puff Daddy that went on before Tupac, after Tupac, and everybody can't be lying on this man, you guys. Everybody is not lying. And then look at how he, listen to how he said, yeah, take that, take that. I like it when you do that, daddy. He probably was saying that to them prostitutes that was jamming. I don't even want to talk about it. That lady going to be traumatized for the rest of her natural life. And she got daughters, too. Oh, man. But I'm glad she confided in her husband. I am so glad that he took her up and he believed in her and he got her out of the hell dungeon. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, they coming after you, Diddy. I'm telling you, your secrets are going to be exposed. You have people that was commenting since 2005 about when would you get your karma. I think it has finally arrived. I'm out.